Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa, and today we're going to read another story about ants. It's called Ant Cities, written and illustrated by Arthur Doros. Have you seen ants busy running over a hill of dirt? They may look like they are just running around, but the ants built that hill to live in, and each ant has work to do. Some ants may disappear into a small hole in the hill. The hole is the door to their nest. These are harvester ants. Their nest is made of lots of rooms and tunnels. These little insects made them all. When it is sunny, the top of the nest gets warm. When it rains, water runs off the hill. If it gets too wet near the top of the nest, the ants move below. In winter, the ants hibernate in a deep room away from the cold. They stay together in a ball to keep warm. Underneath the hill, there may be miles of tunnels and hundreds of rooms. The floors are worn smooth by thousands of ant feet. It is dark inside the nest, but the ants stay cozy. In the rooms of the nest, worker ants do many different kinds of work. It is like a city a busy city of ants. Some ants have brought in food to the ant city. These harvester ants like seeds. A worker ant cracks the husks off the seeds and another worker will take the husks outside to throw away. The ants chew the seeds to get the juices out. Then they feed the juices to the other ants. Other workers store seeds for the ants to eat another time. Not all ants store food what harvester ants do. In one room of the nest, a queen ant lays eggs. Workers carry the eggs away to other rooms to take care of them. Each ant city has to have at least one queen. Without a queen, there would be no ant city. All the other ants in the ant city grow from the eggs the queen lays. At first, the tiny eggs grow into larvae. The worker ants feed the larvae and lick them clean so they will grow well. The larvae grow into pupae. The workers keep grooming the pupae until they grow into adults. The queen ant lays thousands and thousands of eggs. Most of the eggs grow into worker ants. There may be only one queen ant in an ant city, but there can be thousands of workers. The queen is usually bigger than the other ants. She lays eggs that grow into either workers, new queens, or males. The workers are all females. They do the work in the ant city. They will also fight to protect the nest. The new queens have wings. They use them to fly away to start new ant cities. Their wings drop off and then the queens lay eggs. Males don't live in the nest for long. They fly away with the new queens to mate. Then they die. The queen doesn't tell the workers what to do, but the workers are busy. Each ant has work to do. Ants work together to keep the whole ant city alive. And here on this page, you can see all of the ants doing different jobs. Workers make the nest bigger by digging new rooms and tunnels. They use their feet to dig like tiny dogs. Workers pick up pieces of dirt in their jaws and beards and carry them outside. Harvester ant hills can be two feet high and six feet across. Many other ants build smaller hills. Dirt from the digging is what makes the ant hill. Ants are great diggers and builders. Imagine all the tiny pieces of dirt it takes to build a hill two feet high. Out around the harvester ant hill, workers look for food. Harvester ants mostly eat seeds, but sometimes they eat insects too. Ants can bite and sting other insects to capture them or to protect themselves. Be careful because some kinds of ants can bite or sting you too. Harvester ants will bite or sting if you disturb their nest. Ants use their antennas to help find food. They touch and smell with their antennas.
If one ant finds food, others follow. Soon there will be lots of ants carrying away lunch. If one ant can't carry something, others may help. But each worker ant is strong. An ant can lift as much as 50 times its own weight. If people could lift like that, we could each lift a car. The workers carry the food back to the ant city. Ants share the food they find. Ants eat many foods, but different kinds of ants like different foods. There are over 10,000 kinds of ants. The different kinds of ants have found many ways to make their cities so they can live in many kinds of places. Janitor ants make their nests in hollowed out tree twigs. The soldier janitor ant, a kind of worker ant, has a big plug-shaped head so it has a big plug-shaped head it can use for a door. Many kinds of ants make hills or mounds. If you haven't seen harvester ant hills, maybe you've seen the round-topped hills that formica ants make. Sometimes they cover their hills with thatch. Or you may have seen pavement ants. They can live under the sidewalk. Or carpenter ants who build their nests in rotting wood. There are small ant cities with just a few ants. There are big ant cities with many, many ants. Ants have been found at the tops of the highest buildings and on ships at sea. Ants can make their cities almost anywhere. Look around you and you'll probably find an ant city busy with ants. Are you ready to do a project with me? Let's go. All right, my little scientists, are you ready to build your own ant colony? Okay, so what you need for your ant colony is some kinetic sand, or you can use real sand. Um, I have my life cycle set here, and then I have my little ants. Um, you can make little ants out of clay. You can draw them on paper and cut them out and use those in your ant colony. You do not need to buy anything for this activity. You can find it around your home or in nature. All right, so I'm gonna make my ant colony. And ants live underground, as you know. And they make little chambers as they dig. There's, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can just design your own little ant colony. They dig and dig and dig different chambers and tunnels. What's nice about kinetic sand is it kind of sticks together, so it's fun to, feels nice on your fingers. It doesn't get quite as messy as regular sand. But either way, it'll do. You can even use dirt to do this outside. Just make sure you always ask an adult. And then above the ground, they build up debris above the nest to protect it. And if you've ever seen ant hills outside, you'll see what I mean by that. And um, that might be a fun activity too, to just go and um, find an ant hill. Or find several ant hills. I know I have several outside in my backyard. All right. Then you can put out your little worker ants. Those are the ones that are 
outside, gathering food to bring back inside the ant colony. So these are all the ones that are following each other back in. And then you might want to draw like a tree here. Ant hills are sometimes next to trees in the ground. Um, so then there are workers that are looking after the brood. So some of the ants are looking after the brood that are gonna hatch. And you can make some little eggs too out of, again, clay. You can paint them white or just draw them. Um, and then there are ants that are underground with the queen. and the queen stays and lays eggs. So I'm gonna move these eggs down here, but there would be other eggs being protected and fed by worker bees. But this little ant, she's the queen, and she's laying the eggs, and she's got other ants near her. And then there are worker ants way down at the bottom where, that are storing the food. So you've got all, you've got your soldier ants protecting the nest up here, some worker ants coming in with food, and then ants that are protecting the brood, your queen ant down here, and ants down at the bottom storing food. So I can't wait for you, I can't wait to see your ant colony. Remember to take a picture of it when you're finished. Have fun with this and support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and giving us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.